Part two of the analysis test. First question in this section says, write down a number which is between seven and eight. So if we look at a number line and we've got six, seven, eight, nine, they want any number that lies between seven and eight. And I think let's just take the obvious 7.5. Could have been 7.1, could have been 7.01, but let's just take it halfway, 7.5. Same with this one, 3.4 and 3.5. How about 3.45? Minus 6 and minus 5. Yes, you've got it. Minus 5.5. 5. Okay, now we come to a tricky question. Or not. Let's read it properly. The price of a holiday with happy holidays is £750. So that's the price of the entire holiday, £750. 14%, 14% of this price was for the airline ticket. What is the cost of the airline ticket in pounds? Plenty of ways of doing this. You could have worked out 10% first, 1% times that 1% by 4, and that would have given you your answer when you subtracted it from 750. But there's an easier way. Let's put the percentage, 14% over 100%, times that by 750 over 1, because that's the price, and you would have ended up saying 14 times 750, and then divided by 100. And that would have given you your answer of 105 pounds. But there's also another way of doing that. We could use a decimal. What is 14% as a decimal fraction? Yes, 0.14. So we could have said 750 pounds times 0 0.14. Okay, and that's how we arrived at the answer of 105 pounds. Right, the question goes on. Now, the cost of staying in the hotel for the holiday is £465. So of that £750, £465 is for the hotel. Now, they're not asking us any amounts here. They are asking us a percentage. The answer must be a percent. So what percent of the total price of the holiday is that amount? So what was the total price? It was 750. That gets put over 750 and you multiply that by because we want to know a percent. Okay. The cost of staying in the hotel as a percentage of the total cost of the holiday. So that would have mounted to on your calculator, timesing that by a hundred and then dividing by 750, and the exact answer you got on your calculator, 62. Next question. After paying for the airline ticket, okay, you had to pay for the airline ticket, we've done that, we've paid for the hotel, Happy Holidays uses £89 of the holiday price to pay for its expenses. So you're going to subtract 89 from the full total. And the remainder, whatever's left over, is used to pay for five coach trips. Five coach trips. What is the mean cost of a coach tour? Mean meaning the average. Okay. So now we've got to go to the airline, which cost 105. The hotel cost 465. And then the expenses, £89. And when we total that, we get a grand total of £659. What was the grand total? The main um, uh, figure that we paid for the whole holiday, 750 We subtract the 659 from that, and we left with £91. But that's not my answer, okay? That's not my answer because I've got five coach trips to pay for. So £91 divided by five is going to be 
and when you get uh, your calculator out, it becomes 18.2. So we translate that into there, 18.2, but that's not my final answer. No, I must include that zero. Now, a lot of times we forget to put that zero in, and the examiner will unfortunately subtract a mark. So don't forget that zero. So there we go. That was the average price for each coach tour. Let's move on. The next question. Okay. There are 24 pens in a box. 24 pens. So how many pens are there in eight boxes? That looks like a multiplication sum to me. So quite simply, 24 times 8, that gives me 192. Okay, so in 8 boxes, I will have 192 pens. Now, 24 bottles of lemonade can be packed into one crate. There we go. One crate holds 24 bottles of lemonade. 24 in that crate. How many crates am I going to need on this size to pack 336 bottles? That, to my mind, is a division sum. So 336 on your calculator divided by 24, and I'm going to need 14 crates to fit those 336 bottles in. Right, now we come on to a ratio sum. And how do I know it's a ratio? Because the minute I see that, 7 is to 5 is to 4. Let's read it. Sam's Sandwich Shop sells sandwiches. It sells eggs and tuna fillings for the sandwiches. And each day, Sam makes cheese, egg, and tuna. Cheese, egg, and tuna. All right. Now, I put S for sandwiches. Wrong. It should be cheese. So let's correct that quickly. Cheese, egg, tuna. In the ratio, 7 is to 5 is to 4. Now, of the total number of sandwiches, what fraction, okay, not amount, what fraction is tuna? So there we've got tuna, 4 tuna. But over what? What do we do here? To find out the total, we add those together, and there you get 16. So 4 over 16, and remember what we said at the very beginning, simplify your fractions. So 4 sixteenths, look for the highest common factor, and your answer is a quarter. Moving on. On Monday, Sam makes 20 egg sandwiches. 20 egg sandwiches. So let's do it again. Cheese, egg, and tuna in the ratio. Remember, 7 is to 5 is to 4. Okay. He makes 20 egg sandwiches. All right. It's beginning to look fam familiar to you. So look at the egg, 5, 20. How did I get from 5 to 20? Yes, I multiplied it by... Four. So to answer the question, how many tuna sandwiches, all we do is we multiply that by four as well. And our answer is 16. Moving on. A full carton of orange juice in the shape of a cuboid has a square base. Okay, square base. That's a square, so 10 times 10. And the height is is 18 centimeters. What is the volume of the carton? Now we know the formula for working out volume is length times width times height or depth, height or depth. Okay, so 10 times 10 times 18. And I know you're going to tell me you don't need your calculator for this one because you've got noughts involved in this one, 10 and 10. So what do we have? 18 times 10 is 180 times another 10 is equal to 1,800. So there we go. 1,800 cubic centimeters. That is the volume of that cuboid. 
Now, the next part of that question says, how many liters of orange juice are there in this carton or in a full carton? Okay, so something you need to know straight away is that there are a thousand cubic centimeters in one liter. So our previous answer, 1,800. We are now going to divide that by, yes, a thousand, which moves, means we're moving this decimal point one, two, three places, and that becomes 1.8 liters. Now, next part of the question. The full carton of orange juice is used to fill as many 240 milliliter glasses as possible. The full carton, how many of those glasses can I fill? 240 milliliters. So again, 1,800. Okay. And we're going to divide that by 240. And with your calculator, your answer is 7.5. But 7.5 is not my answer. Why is it not my answer? Because they want to know how many of these glasses can be filled. Look at the keyword, filled. So only how many? Seven with five remainder as the remainder. So only seven can be filled. Next question, how many faces does a cube have? Okay, you might want to just draw yourself one there quickly and just think of a dice. And yes, we know that that has six faces. Right, we'll come back to the next part of this paper shortly.